I mean, it is it is just fascinating. You mentioned the volatility, um, the risks. What advice would you give to consumers, uh, you know, who are interested uh, in investing in a kind of in in some kind of cryptocurrency, uh, to understand what the risks and benefits are? So investors ought to tread very warily. Now, of course, um, uh, the reality is that uh, when I started working on my book four years ago, it seemed to me like Bitcoin was a phenomenon that could not possibly persist forever. If I, instead of writing the book, bought a few Bitcoin at the time, I'd be a much richer man by now. But I <laughs> worry again that this is a, a phenomenon uh, that could draw in a lot of uh, retail investors who don't fully understand the risks and in history, there have been many, many examples of these speculative manias that have lasted for a fairly long time, drawn in a lot of investors. But I worry in particular about the retail investors, people who have put their entire life savings into cryptocurrencies, um, many people who even borrowed in order to invest in cryptocurrencies. Now, one might say at one level, perhaps having cryptocurrencies as a small part of your portfolio is not such a bad thing. Maybe if you hold one or two percent of your overall portfolio in cryptocurrencies, even if a cryptocurrency that you invest in crashes in value, it's not going to be a huge loss and maybe you have some upside potential. But I think certainly um, if you're a retail investor uh, who cares about safety, you need to be a little cautious about these uh, investments. Now, there are some new cryptocurrencies that have emerged um, in the wake of uh, um, uh, Bitcoin. For instance, Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency by market capitalization. It turns out that Ethereum potentially could have much more uses. Um, the technological platform on which Ethereum is traded is called uh, um, uh, a blockchain. And the Ethereum blockchain compared to the Bitcoin blockchain is a lot more efficient in terms of processing transactions and there is going to be an upgrade of that blockchain soon that could make it a lot more um, efficient than Bitcoin and in addition a lot of these new financial products and services that you've probably heard about as being created on the blockchain are in fact being created on the Ethereum blockchain not on Bitcoin which is not as functional a blockchain so perhaps Ethereum will have true value and then there are cryptocurrencies called stable coins. Stable coins are an interesting type of cryptocurrency. They get around the uh, problem of unstable value essentially by holding reserves of fiat currencies such as the dollar. So when one unit of a stable coin is issued, it is issued against the backing of a reserve currency like a US dollar. Now there is a delicious irony here because the whole point of Bitcoin was to get away from fiat currencies like the dollar and stable coins, which are very effective payment mechanisms, are in fact getting their stable value from being backed up by fiat currencies. But there is this proliferation of cryptocurrencies for different purposes, and consumers really need to think hard about what it is that the value proposition offered by each cryptocurrency is.